don't play with music. If you play with music, you will die young. He was one of Africa's most celebrated musicians, loved by millions for his authenticity and charisma. In the past few years, there has been a resurgence of interest in his music and popular culture, with plays about his life on Broadway and in London's West End. Today, he's been recognized at home. We're here celebrating uh, not just his music, but his person, his philosophy, and all of that. And I'm very excited to have been part of this. I was like five years old when I fell in love with Fela's music. And each time I listen to it, I cry because he's telling us things that we need to know. He's the beginning of, of a lot of things everybody listens to without knowing that he's actually the starting point. Hundreds of people are here today to celebrate Fela and the Afrobeat genre of music that he pioneered. The Celebration Festival is held for a week every single year and it's in honor of his life and music. This year it's on a larger scale because of the 20th anniversary of his death. Fela had a message for African people. And it's important that we hear that message and we live by that message. And that message was number one, Pan-Africanism. If Africa is united, the sky is the limit. Artists from all over Africa have taken to the stage in Lagos as part of the celebrations. Their lyrics and style show the widespread impact of Fela's music on African culture. Fela was very vocal when it came to politics in Nigeria. He used his music to fight for human rights and social change. His spirit remains alive in his sons, who have inherited the zeal for Afrobeat music and activism. His son Femi describes his father as a prophet. Everything he sang about is still happening. I can't imagine him being alive now, witnessing all the problems which are, in many cases, worse than when he was alive. For many here in Nigeria, the problems Fela sang about are daily realities, and his music remains the only symbol of hope. Didi Akin Lure, BBC News, Lagos.